7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards has that story. We tried to reach out to Cushing Berry, but he did not want to talk on camera. But his attorney did speak to us, and he tells us that Cushing Berry is relieved to move forward and put this all behind him. The question was not whether Councilman Cushing Berry was on his best behavior during an encounter with officers, but whether his conduct crossed the line, a new report states. And according to an investigation, there is not enough evidence to say the Detroit City Councilman abused his authority. He was happy that to feel vindicated. He felt that he hadn't done anything wrong, um, that the investigation would ultimately, if a proper investigation was unfolded, the truth would be revealed. The city councilman did not want to talk on camera, but his attorney, Todd Perkins, is speaking on his behalf. Cushenberry was pulled over one night in January when he and a friend were leaving the penthouse lounge. Police have said because the newly elected councilman cut them off. According to officers, when they reached in to remove the car keys, they found pot and an open container of alcohol inside the vehicle. Those officers have stated Cushenberry questioned them, asking, quote, do you know who I am? How do you explain the pot in that vehicle? Do you think it's okay for you to drive around with that stuff in your car? Earlier this year, 7 Action News investigator Heather Catalo tried to track him down for answers, but he remained silent on the incident. The inspector general's investigation was looking into whether Councilman Cushingberry displayed his city council ID as opposed to his driver's license and made statements regarding his status on the city council. But there was not a sufficient amount of audio or video evidence to say whether that was the case. Now his attorney says Cushingberry can move forward and continue to focus on improving Detroit. We'll see things in the near future that cast the city in a vibrance to the city that is going to be part of the good governance that comes along with it. Now, Cushenberry does have a medical marijuana card, but he has yet to speak out publicly about this incident. Reporting live at downtown Detroit, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. All right.